All right. Uh, Thursday uh, morning, I'd made a list, go to town and pick up some pieces. And uh, these cigarette lighter things are, I don't know if they're full of soda or junk. And one of these switches is broke it. It doesn't rock and click like it's supposed to. So I went to uh, town. They have an old cop car. It's retired. Uh, I went to grab this little switch panel out of it. But they had had uh, Torx screws holding everything down. Half of them were stripped. So uh, all I had was a Phillips screwdriver and I couldn't get the screws out. So I just, it only had one bolt over in this corner that was just started with like one or two threads that uh, was holding this thing in. I'm thinking that maybe this thing come out of a different car and they just tossed it in there. But I went ahead and took that bolt out, grabbed that whole thing, brought it home and stripped the, I got all the radio brackets off of it. So I had some extra radio brackets if I needed them. Um, this was the wiring mess that was up underneath it. I mean, all of those were just kind of wrapped together. This old switch was stuck to the side of it with house plugs. I mean, it was uh, pretty nasty. <clears throat> Went ahead and put all of this. This is the switch panel I needed right here, actually. I just got it in this box so I don't lose it. Threw all the old radios here. I got to get some of this stuff take it back down there. I got too much crap accumulating. Uh, Jeff brought me two new batteries a couple days ago, I think. I got to get these old batteries out, get them back to them. I mean, I'm just getting too much crap down here. I got the old traffic bar I got to get down. Old light bar. Take this old console back. I don't need it anymore. Take these old radios. Um, microphones I don't need. Got this old piece of wire loom I'm going to keep. Uh, but that's about it. Oh, this old inverter was kind of stuck to it. And it had, uh, I was looking for the wires they had hooked to it. That's one of them. They just had it wrapped around the terminal and cinched down. It wasn't even on a uh, butt connector or nothing. So I had, <laughs> I'm going to probably put this thing right here on the other console and then hook it up with butt connectors. It's a little 400 water. It'll power a laptop or, you know, something like that. You know, if one of the guys doesn't have a cigarette lighter charger, you can plug it into that. But I will wire that thing up if it works. Um, what the hell else did I find? I think that's about how these old radios, like somebody's been pouring coffee on them. <laughs> and this old thing was already wired up with butt connectors, so I just got to connect those two wires up. <clears throat> I needed this, but damn thing's bent, and somebody chopped that thing. Look at how crooked that is. That was... Uh, Kind of needed that thing, but it doesn't fit, so it's made all crooked, so I'm not going to use it. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Hmm. Oh, it was for the wheels that came in the box. Damn, drive me nuts. But anyways, <clears throat> that's all I know for now. You know I'm getting all this crap. Probably need to take this old shit back to Napa. We decided to go with regular terminal batteries. Um, you know, I said in a previous video I was going to get a couple batteries that had the studs in the top. We ended up doing that. What I'll do is I'll cut these bolts so these things will pinch better now. Get these old rusty bolts out of there. Clean them terminals up. <clears throat> Went to town and got a 
battery terminal cleaner here somewhere. It's all this crap back here. Got a battery terminal cleaner. Got a uh, cutoff wheel from Home Depot. And a couple of cheap box stops. I go through those things left and right. And I got a tube of silicone at the little discount store we have here in town. And then uh, when a sticker guy comes out, I'll pull these lights back out so he can sticker under them instead of around them, and then that'll make it easier. Um, that's the switch panel I converted. All of them switches are okay, just one of them other ones was bad. And then uh, I got that wiring on that nasty thing figured out. I actually faced it down. Um, I got a wire in that ground for it. I just wanted to make sure everything's right. Because um, <clears throat> not looking at the diagram, someone would assume that them are the speaker wires. They are not speaker wires. These are the speaker wires. Brown and blue is high voltage. Brown and orange is low voltage. These go to the radio and the horn. And then these are zip lines. I'm not sure what zip lines are for, but <clears throat> we're going to try and get those radios and stuff mounted today, get this thing figured up and wired. And then uh, we're trying to make some progress today. 